Uh, we met at work. I started working at Leo Burnett and he had been there for a couple of years beforehand. And I think he was the first person that, that I was introduced to. Helping the kids out of their coats The way the babies haven't been born oh, 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 oh. I thought he was good looking and I definitely I remember his shirt. It said, uh, it had a picture of the Hoover Dam on it. It said, this is my damn shirt. Uh, and then I found out that he always wears shirts like that, so. We're, we're different in some ways that I, you know, will wear like t-shirts with stupid bears and stuff like that to work and she was very, you know, businessy and proper and, and well dressed and well put together. There's a juxtaposition between the two of us and I think that might have been what some of the attraction was too, so. We had a couple of drinks and a, a, a dip plate of all of these hummuses from all around the world. I think the way he likes to tell it is that uh, it really wasn't a dinner, so he owed me another date where we actually had a full dinner. They couldn't really, like say, qualify that three multicolored dips are a meal, so uh, I was able to weasel her out for like another date after that too, so. We had been dating for about a year before we actually told people at work. Of course, I was like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that something was going on between you. I'm like, yeah, I know you didn't because you were trying to set me up with other people and set her up with other people. They thought they were doing such a good job, like pitting us with people, but not realizing that we were already together, so. I got a man to stick it out and make a home from rented high. Sure, I thought that he might do it on the trip, um, but after the first couple nights, I thought, oh no, it's not going to happen. And so I just I, I saw this one point where we could turn and we looked down at the, the water, and there was an overhead light, so she could see what the what the heck I had in my hand. So he, he started talking about his grandmother and said he wanted to give me his grandmother's ring. And so um, I just uh, dropped to a knee there and I proposed. And what was going through my head at the time was, I can't believe you're doing this right now because I just stepped in dog poo like five minutes earlier. Uh, like the first thing she said to me was, uh, I stepped in dog shit, was the first thing she said after I, she didn't answer, she just said that, so. I was, it wasn't that, that was what I was thinking. I just couldn't believe that at that moment, I had poo all over my feet. <laughs> I don't think that there was ever just like one distinct moment where I knew that that Cam was the one for me or that we were going to get married. I think what it is is just over time you start to realize that you'd rather spend time with him than anyone else and you're happiest. And I think that's what it was for me where it was just just realizing that I would rather hang out with him than, than, than really do anything else. It's an odd thing. I mean, I, I, was, I was already in love with her, but when we uh, had to ride up a hill in Hamilton, um, and it's a, a long, extremely arduous hill after a long ride and a tough ride and bad conditions. And I got up the top and I paused, expecting that she'd be maybe 20 minutes behind, half an hour behind. She was right behind me. I, I couldn't believe it. Like she looked, <laughs> she looked beautiful, and she like she like, you're tough as nails. Like you're funny. I know what you'd be like um, in the family, and I was. That I, like, I knew I was going to marry her like, right then. I was like, this has to happen soon because I don't want to lose her. So that was it. That was the day. That's, that's when I knew for sure.